Hi everybody, it's Robbie. See, Art, Robbie. <laughs> Today I'm gonna make a pocket shirt a little different than the way I made it last time. That's why I wanted to share it with you. I make all kinds of pocket shirts. I take old pants. This was an old pair of shorts I had and they didn't fit anymore. So I made a pocket out of it. I like the design, so I made a pocket. Then I had another one that somebody years ago made me a drawing on a t-shirt that finally fell apart. But you know what? Where the drawing was, it didn't fall apart. It was just me typing because I like to write. And I really liked it, so I made a pocket shirt out of this shirt so I could wear this to the store and put my cell phone in. So, and even the one I'm wearing now, I made that too. And I have found these so handy that this is why I wanted to share it with you. And the ones I generally make, I use the sewing machine. But this time, you don't need to use the sewing machine. And that's why I'm doing this today. Now, I could use different fabric. I picked up this beautiful brand new t-shirt for a dollar. So you could use any shirt you want. But I like this. It's kind of a worn looking black. So here's some fabric that Gary picked out. I'm going to make him one. And this would kind of work on that. See how nice that is? So this fabric would be good. I pick up little pieces of fabric like you can go to your fabric store. And you don't have to buy a whole yard. So if you want, you could buy a half a yard, a quarter of a yard, anything you want. This one would look really good too. I just kind of keep track of different fabrics and I kind of keep them around. Here's a bandana. You can use a bandana. And I could cut this one to fit any way I want. That would look really cool too. So you could, if you had a really nice bandana or a handkerchief, even this, look at this. This is kitchen towels with peppers. You could go to your dollar store and pick up something like that. And I haven't even looked at this since I brought it home, but you could use peppers. And this would actually, this would look really nice. Look at that. It's already all sewn. I mean, can you see it's completely stitched? It would look really cool on here. I wasn't even gonna do that for the video. I was actually, I hadn't looked at it. As you can see, I just opened it. I, I mean, a dollar, you get, you get a towel, a kitchen towel. This was at the dollar store. You get two different size. Uh, one's a washcloth, I think, and one's a, I don't know what they call it, a kitchen towel and a dishcloth and a scrub towel. And they both look the same me. Oh, this one's got a little, this one's a little stiffer. So if I wanted to put this on, let's say a heavier t-shirt, I could use the stiffer one. And then on this one, since this is a really nice thin t-shirt, I could use this. And this one's a little bit thinner. And I might be changing my video right in the middle of doing it. Because what I was going to do was I was thinking of using this fabric. See, here's a shirt I've got that... I found in the closet and it's beautiful and it's got macaws all over it and this would be beautiful too but it's kind of slightly navy blue and I thought I might keep this for a different shirt to put on so don't throw your old shirts away if you like them but this I was thinking looks very garden like and what I would do is let's say my pockets are around that size I think that's the size they are and you could go bigger or smaller all you need to do is lay it out and just cut it and just make sure it's straight. Of course, you want to do it straighter than me because I'm going to probably do this in kind of a hurry. But get a good scissors. That's one of your most important things. I'm going to go a little taller on this one. But that is your most important thing is a good scissors. And kind of, if you're going to start sewing, I would keep a scissors designated for cloth. Because when you start using it on you know, paper and stuff, it gets dull. But that's it. You would just cut it to the size you want. Now, if you wanted to, you could stitch this if you wanted it neater. You could just take, if you've got a sewing machine, you could stitch it. And that's, I, use, I usually do that. I picked up a sewing machine at the thrift store for $15, and I love it. You could also, I'm going to use liquid stitch 
Now, I have tried other fabric glue in the past, and it didn't work good. And that's why I didn't like it at all. This one, I have found works perfect. This, this is wonderful. You don't have to sew or anything. So if you wanted to, you could, if you wanted to take a little more time, you could glue it down the edges and make it look really nice. To save time here, I'm not going to do that. But you could do that. So you could go through and get a piece of paper. And first you could put the glue down and it would have to dry for an hour or so. And then come back and just glue it on. That's all you have to do. Maybe I should do that. But now, after looking at this, I really like this. And I'm thinking of maybe I will put this on. I don't know. I think I'm going to go back. Look at this. I never know what I'm going to do when I turn on the camera. Um, I am going to do this one. And we're just going to just glue this on. Now, you could fold the sides down, but it might pull. That's why the best thing to do would be to first go through and do it. And I don't think I can do it here. I can try it. This will be the first time I've ever done it this way. Let me grab a piece of paper and see if it works. That would give you a nice, neat, clean edge. I think they say to shake first. And then I, we may have to come back because I don't know how long it will take. But that would be a, a thing to do. And normally doing it not on camera, you wouldn't do it on top of the shirt like I'm doing it. Actually, it's going to go through really fast. Look at that. It's done. Look at that. I surprised myself. I'm literally surprised. I haven't done that because usually I sew it. This is a first. So look at that. That side's done. And we might be able to do the whole thing all together, you and me. Isn't that amazing that I get on here, I turn on a camera, and I learn new things as I'm talking to you. All right. So we're going to get... Now, you definitely want to work on top of the paper. I use a lot of different ads because I'm going to throw it away afterwards. <laughs> and I'm using a shiny paper because it won't stick. Look at that. This is going to give you a really nice, clean edge. Now, it's not quite big enough, so we're going to just turn it a little sideways. And then we're going to come back, do the same thing. Now, don't worry if some of the white, it it's kind of looks like white glue. Don't worry if it gets on the fabric because it, it dries clear. So right now, we're just trying to get, give ourselves a really nice, clean edge. So it'll look very professional when it's done. Look at that. Now I've got glue all over me and I don't have a napkin. I do. It's over there. I'd have to rudely reach across. But you know what? I don't think I need it. Now, once this dries and it's completely dry, once you have it on, on the fabric, it becomes permanent. So before that, if you get it somewhere and you don't want it wherever it landed, make sure you wash it off. So think of it that way. It's not permanent until it dries. So far we're good. I haven't made a mess out of the shirt. But you're just going to fold it over. And you could go bigger. I didn't make this pocket all that big. I make them different sizes. But boy, I'm telling you... I use this everywhere. I'm going to press it down really good with a piece of paper. Look at that. Look at that. That is amazing. This was no joke. I've never done this before. I usually sew the edge. Now I know I have been wasting my time. <laughs> All right. Now we've got a nice looking pocket. Since it's still damp, I'm just going to lay it on here for now. And look at that. Now you could go either up and down. Or you could go sideways because it's a little bit, you know, it's, it's longer on one side than the other. The other thing that's important, excuse my reach, is before you actually glue it onto the shirt, let me move this out of the way right now, you do want to slide something underneath where you're going to put the pocket. And more is better because you could end up gluing the shirt together the shirt together you know and you wouldn't want that so that's pretty much done I might put both of these 
because if the glue seeps through, and this is a very, very thin shirt, you could end up gluing your front to back. And it would be very, very difficult to wear at that time, I think. <laughs> but that's it. And, you know, I'm going to eyeball this. You could get fancier and measure everything. But look at that. Okay, so now we've got the shirt laid out. Isn't that cool? And now... I lost my pocket. Oh. Now you can decide how you want to do it. Do you want it like that? Let's see, I usually have mine. Mine's kind of on the long side. So it kind of goes long this way. It depends on what you want to carry. And there's all different things you could do. If you wanted to, you could fold this over one more time. And you could slide in a piece of elastic. I don't think you're going to be able to see it. But this one that I'm wearing, I put a piece of elastic in it. And I only did that so it would pull a little bit shut. And you don't have to do it. It's a little more work. I've only done it on two shirts. But what you would do is you'd have like, let me see if you can see this on camera. You'd have a space here, a space inside. So you would string a piece of elastic and pull it. And you can do this after it's on the shirt. It's not important. It's just something I do to some shirts. So right now we're just going to do it this way. And I want the nicest side up. You know, I think that looks pretty good right where it is. Let's see. I can feel there's the seam that way. Yes, according to this, got to go over a little bit. And do I want it lower? How do I have it here? I do have it a little bit lower. I tend to go lower. You could put it anywhere you want. And you know what? Once you start making them, then you can decide, like the first one, you might make it and think, gee, I would have liked a bigger pocket, or I would have wanted maybe a, the pocket more in a triangle on the top, and then taper it. You could make the pockets any size, any design you want. It, it doesn't matter. Whatever you want. But this is going to look really good. I could carry in here some gloves, and I can carry my masking tape. I could drop my cell phone in it. Like I said, I could go this way. But I think right now I am going to go this way. And if you so desired afterwards, you could go back and you could stitch it on the three sides if you have a sewing machine. If you were going to carry, let's say you have a small Chihuahua or Yorkie or something. Yes, I have carried my Yorkie in these. You can make the pocket bigger. You can have a really cute saying on it and you could carry your dog with you in a pocket. No joke. I've had people years ago that had me make pockets for them because they wanted to carry their Yorkies when they saw me carrying my Yorkie. Uh, I had a Yorkie once. She weighed one pound. She was so tiny, and I used to take her everywhere with me. So anyways, this looks like it's about right. Like I said, I don't have a measuring tape. Let me see if I could just use something like this, and it looks like it's there, and I still feel the seam there. This shirt could be off, too, so it may not be me. It might be the shirt. But you could measure it, and there you go. I'm going to say that's good enough. I can feel that the paper is underneath. That's very important. You want to make sure the paper is going to be wherever you're gluing because you don't want it to get stuck. Now, if you glue it on and you realize you forgot to put the paper in or whatever, just quickly go in there when it's still wet and lift the shirt up and then you'll, you won't have a problem with it at all. But this is it. You're going to see how quick this is to make a pocket. So we're going to go right here. I think this is perfectly fine where it is. And right now, it's so fast. You can use it almost instantly, but I would definitely let it sit and just put on a good amount of glue. We're going to have to go all the way around. So we're going to start this here. I'm going to have to press it down. Then I'm going to have to come up here. And I know the glue is still wet. I'm hoping you can see this really good. We're going to go through sure we got enough glue. Same thing here. Try not to move it too much as you're working. You can always go back and add in more glue. That's, you know, later on, if you found that you missed a spot or something, just go back and add on, you know, it's no biggie. Just add some more glue. But I got this at Joann's, this bottle. It, they, this two ounce bottle sells for $8.00. But they always have sales. 
So what I would do is keep an eye on, you know, sign up online and see if they have a coupon. You probably can even get it at different places cheaper too. I haven't looked around because I do get mine at Joann's. But if you have a coupon, they put them on sale for 50%. They don't put them on sale. I rarely see these on sale. What they do is you'll have a coupon and you can get it for 50% off, which makes it $4. Now there is a bottle that is much bigger that you can get for 10. I can't remember the exact size. It might be six ounces. And yes, you can get it with a coupon half price. But here's the thing, I have all, and that one was like a tube, like a toothpaste tube, and, and it had a little snap on top. If you're only gonna make a few of these and you're not gonna be using it all the time, and you have the other tube, they'll dry out. So you'll, you'll end up throwing it away. I'd rather have smaller tubes not open yet because you know you don't want to be throwing it away it's up totally up to you i mean you could mend your pants with it you can make cuffs if your pants are too tall you can cut your pants and make them in the shorts and make a beautiful little hem like you just saw how i folded this but that is it this shirt is done well i mean i talk more than the amount of time it takes to make this shirt so this is it it is done and it is amazing. There are so many things that you can do with this. And you know what else you could do? You could go and get some, some really, look at the baby clothes and they have such cute little sayings on it. And I had one for my dog that said trouble and it was a cute little shirt and I made a pocket out of it and she used to sit in there. You could find the cutest things and they're all down. But look at this. I have a beautiful garden shirt now. It's got flowers and everything on it, green flowers. Like I said, with Gary, he picked out this. So I am going to make him this shirt. He found this in the Easter department at Joann's. Who would think? And he liked it. You know, he looked at it and he goes, wow, that's a basket weave. I really like that. And I'm going to make him a shirt like that. Maybe I'll make one for myself too. We bought a third of a yard. A third of a yard. And they were half price, even though Easter isn't here yet. They were half price. So this piece that's probably going to make at least three pockets for me. At least. Well, let's safely say three pockets because I don't want to squeeze it and make four and make them too tiny. Um, this cost us like $2. I don't, I don't even think, two something, not even $3. It was under, under $3. So let's say two something. He really liked this. It was, you know, he, he said he, when he's working in the yard, he can throw his gloves in there. He can throw masking tapers, ties if he's tying up plants in the yard. There's different things he carries. And the same thing, we would cut it to the size. If he wants a great big pocket, you know, we, I would just cut it. And you would do the same thing. You saw how I folded it over, run the glue. And you don't even have to wait till it dries. You don't have to wait till it dries. Isn't that amazing? I mean, it was that quick. And it's not going to fray or anything. This stuff is permanent. Once it's dry, it's permanent. Now what they say is wait 24 to 48 hours before you're gonna wash it. So if you make it and you go outside and you're gardening and you make a filthy mess out of your shirt, if you just made the pocket, wait a couple days before you throw it in the washing machine. They don't say this, but what I would do is I would turn the shirt inside out and then throw it in the washing machine. But with this, yes, I'm just gonna fold this over you could even fold it over twice if you want to get really, really fancy. Maybe not that way. You're going to go that way. And then you'd really, if you're taking your time, make it really, really fancy and make somebody a shirt. Make it for a holiday. Make it for grandkids. Make it for your husband, your friends, your wife. I mean, this is just wonderful. When you're traveling, you can carry your passport on you. You can carry your wallet on you. You can carry money on you. Nobody's going to expect the money's on you. They're going to grab your purse if you're a woman. They're, that's what they're going to grab. They're going to expect everything in there. And you got everything in the pocket. That's what I do. A lot of times I have my wallet in here. But I, I do carry my cell phone in here because there might be something I want to take a quick video of. I've got my cell phone sitting in here and my keys. That's generally what I have in here. And I'll throw in some coupons if I'm going to the store. But, oh, people stop me in the store all the time. Oh, my gosh, where did you get it? One lady who's got a business said, oh, you should be doing this for a living. I can't take on any more projects. This is it. This is what I'm sharing with you. What, how long did it take me while I was talking to put this pocket on? That's how quick. And if you don't want to, you know, do anything at all and just have a piece of fabric already cut and everything, get yourself a washcloth. 
Look how beautiful that pocket would be with peppers all over it. I don't think there's an up or a down. Nope, the peppers go all the way around. Look at that. Look how beautiful that would be. And that is the reason I bought this. I was at the store and I saw it and there was three of them. So I got three for a dollar and this is ready to go. You wouldn't do anything but glue it on. If for some reason you want to give a little look to it, like I said, you could fold it over and leave a space inside. Then you could put it in a piece of elastic and you can kind of cinch it a little bit. You could even do a drawstring, but I would do elastic. It give you a little cinch and kind of gives you a cute little look, like mine stretches on this shirt. Not all of them, just on this shirt. But I wanted to share this with you because there, last time I put it up, I showed how to do it on the sewing machine and it took so long and so many people said, oh, we don't have a sewing machine. Where am I gonna get one? I don't wanna go spend a lot of money. You know, I was lucky I was at, I don't remember what thrift store, Salvation Army or Goodwill and they had it there for $15. I bought it and it worked. But you don't need a sewing machine. This is all you need. This will be dry soon. See the paper? It's almost dry. It's underneath and you do want to lift it because it will stick to the paper but at least it won't stick to the back. See and you'll have to pull the paper off. Nobody's going to see it anyways. You can use wax paper. That would be better. But you could use wax paper. But that's it. Now we're just going to let this dry and you're all gonna see me in the garden wearing this shirt. And you know what I did today? I went to the store and they had these shirts and I thought, these are so nice. I really like them. And I bought all of them and there were nine. A dollar a piece! Come on, there were nine. So I'm gonna make Gary a shirt. They're lightweight. I really like lightweight because summer's coming. And this is just gonna be so cool. So when you're washing it, turn it inside out. I think it's good with a lot of clothes if there's writing or something on it. It's just nicer. That's it. So go make yourself a pocket shirt. Get as fancy as you want. Like I said, you could make this where it's like a little triangle on top so it's a smaller opening on the top if you wanted to. You could glue it this way and have it all different. You can make it any way you want. It's your shirt. You make it the way it's going to work for you, but I'm telling you, this is adorable. Can you see making the grandkids something with something they really like on the front, and they could be wearing this when they go out? I had a lady in the store saw it, and oh, she went wild over it. She was a clerk in the store, and she said, oh my gosh, I'm going to make one, but I don't want it on the front. She said, I'm going to make the big pocket on the back. And I said to her, how are you going to make it? How are you going to get your stuff? Oh, she says, I can reach behind. I can get it. Why don't you want to put the pocket on the front? I don't want to have a big belly, she said. I have no idea how that lady's going to sit down, but you know what? If that's the way she wants to make it, it's her shirt. Let her make it any way she wants. You could make a little matching top pocket if you wanted to for a pair of sunglasses or something. You know, you could... You could actually, with that glue, you could design it and put patterns on your shirt if you wanted to. This is the way I do it. It's very simple. It's done. And like I said, in the amount of time I talked, I could have already made Gary's shirt and my shirt. But now I'm going to go do that. So with that, have a wonderful day. Make some pocket shirts for the summer. Do it on tank tops. Do it any way you want. But make something. Try it. Just once. Try it. I think you really like it. Bye, everybody. And don't forget... That ain't what you grow.